Okay, so now we're going to be looking at introduction to information technology. All right? Now, with information, introduction to information technology, the first thing we have to look at is what is a computer. And for a lot of us, when we think of what a computer is, we think of our cell phones or our laptops or even a desktop computer or PC, which stands for personal computer. But in actuality, a computer can be defined as an electronic device that allows you to input, process, output, and store data or information. Right? Now, what this means is that the computer is actually the device. So that's basically a definition for what a computer is. But in actuality, the computer is a chip inside of any device or some devices that you may use. So for example, in your cell phone, there's a computer chip. And this chip allows you to perform all these different actions that you do on the device. Inside of our laptops, we have a computer chip that allows us to perform those actions or actions on our device as well. Now this chip has many different names. Some of the names include central processing unit or CPU, processor, chip, or processor chip, and finally the brain. Now this chip is responsible for every action that takes place on your device, right? So what, will, what happens is that they put this chip or the computer inside many other devices to allow them to perform or function well. Now we know of our cell phone, we know of our tablets, right? So let's look at other devices that our computer can be found in. These are television sets, radios, microwaves, washing machines, automobiles, digital cameras, smartwatches, the list goes on and on and on. If you think about any device and you're wondering if it has a computer inside of it, just think. It allows you to enter in input, it allows you to process, it allows you to output, it allows you to store. And if it doesn't allow you to store, it doesn't already have things stored in on the device for you to use. Let's look at the example of the microwave. Now with the microwave, it allows you to input numbers for the set time you want your food to be heated up for. That's input. It then allows you to do some sort of processing in terms of then allowing the microwave to run for the allotted time that you put in. Then the output would be the microwave running for that time and then stopping at the appropriate time. Storage would come in where it would have different or, or set presets, sorry, presets on the device for different things like popcorn or rice or so forth. So that is where you have storage. So think of other devices that you can find around you that basically will help, will, will, will um, provide you with input, output, processing, and storage. And more than likely, these devices have a computer inside of them. So now that we know what a computer is, the next question is, what is a computer system? Now, a computer system can be defined as a combination of hardware and software that allows you to utilize all of its functions. So what this means is that you will have a system or a computer system that has, that's basically comprised of hardware and software components that allow you to perform your actions or tasks. So for example, on our cell phones, the cell phone itself is a hardware device. The software on the device would then allow you to perform a different task. So if you wanted to go on WhatsApp on your cell phone, you'd have to pick up the cell phone, turn it on, go to the app, open the app, right? So you're using both the hardware and the software to complete your task of going on WhatsApp. So that's basically what a computer system is. Now, generically, or generally, sorry, when we think of a computer system, we're thinking of a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, and a system unit. These would be the components that we think about when we talk about a computer system, which is not wrong. That is correct, right? But a computer system can be any device that using a computer inside of it and then has a, a physical and a software component to it that are working together.